I'm having trouble convincing other vegan activists that are freaked out by the whole AV is an intersectional thing. In terms of people that make claims about AV not being intersectional, I always ask them, what is your definition of being intersectional? Being intersectional means that me, as a cell, as an individual, my main focus in life is animal rights because that is something that I'm very passionate about. Right? And I spend most of my time, maybe 60%, 70% of my time working on animal rights. So for me, that's my main focus. I also speak up about other things. So my time is divided between all these different things, but my main focus is animal rights. In the true definition of intersectionality, I am an intersectional individual, just like many of you are. How could you not be? As a human being, obviously you want human rights, first of all, because you want to be able to live and have freedom. If you're a person of color like I am, obviously you would be against racism, against oppression. As a woman, again, you want women to be free. You want them to be liberated. You want them to be seen as equal individuals to men. So I just don't understand how anyone could be anything but an intersectional, right? But every single person chooses to spend their time differently. So if you choose to spend most of your time talking about women's rights or gay rights or whatever it is that you feel passionate about, and then on the weekend you spend some time doing animal rights activism, that is completely within your rights to do that. I'm not going to come and try to convince you to do more activism for the animals or to do more activism about the things that I feel more passionate about. That's the saddest thing that I see in this movement and maybe that's what you're talking about. People that are just not able to tolerate differences. So when you see someone doing something differently, they do it different to you, they do more or less of it. You just can't tolerate it. You can't accept that, that we're all different people. We have different purposes in life. We choose our life to be different to others. And this is the part that we're choosing for ourselves. So I don't see it that way. I just see that everyone has the right to choose what they want to focus on. You can focus on 10 million things at once or you can just focus on two things and that's completely within your rights. So I wanted to talk about this because it does come up and I hope that this does help you. I gave you an example about myself. When it comes to AV, I'm not talking about an individual anymore. AV is an animal rights organization. An organization is a bigger entity than just me and Paul and our organizers and our team members. An organization is going to have one focus and the focus is going to be animal rights, which is missing in the movement. A lot of the vegan organizations or animal rights organizations, charities, non-for-profits, a lot of them are focused on multiple things at the same time. And maybe if we were to focus on one thing at a time as an organization, maybe we would achieve more. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know yet. But for the last four years that we've been operating as AV, we decided from day one that AV is going to be focused 100% on animal rights and we're going to continue doing that. Does that mean that we don't think there is a place for other forms of activism about other forms of discrimination and oppression? Of course not. But AV is going to focus on animal rights and the way that we do it is different. This is our approach within AV. Anyone who likes to join us, they're welcome, regardless of their preferences in terms of whether they identify as an intersectional or not. We couldn't care less. You're welcome to do activism with us as long as you're respectful to other activists. That's it. As an organization, if we were to focus on many things, first of all, that means that every single person within the org from volunteers, organizers and our team needs to share all of those views when it comes to other things. How exclusive would that organizational group become? Just think about it. When we are just focused on veganism or animal rights, we can all be from different religious groups, different backgrounds, different political views. Some of us may not be as interested in certain movements other than animal rights. Some of us may not be as educated, I think, 
by adding different sections to one organization, you're actually making it more exclusive because everyone who joins has to tick all the boxes. Whereas with AV, as long as you're a vegan and you want animal liberation, you're welcome to join us. Like I said, as long as you're not going to be disrespectful to other activists at the cube or online, you're not going to be oppressive towards a certain group of people.